So, um, show me your badge, please. Thank you. And then, uh, I'm going to do that. And then you can tell me who you are and what you do. Great. I'm J. Carl Ganter. I run Circle of Blue. We're a group of journalists and scientists and data experts and communication design people. And we report on water issues around the world. And, and um, you're, you're not all like... Um, full-time staff or anything like that, right? We have a core staff, uh, about eight to a dozen people, depending on the story, yeah. and then our network's global. And so what we do is we cover the intersections, and I'm all about intersections, so I'm a reporter. Yeah. I'm not a water expert. But what I can do is, is I like to step back for a moment. Um, one of our board members is an astronaut, Jerry Leninger, and he always says, well, what's the orbital perspective here? And so what are these connections that link us all together? And I think by doing that and by making it relevant, by making these big connections and then drilling all the way down to the actual people and the lives that are behind them, we come up with incredibly rich stories. Because you know what, what drives me is that here's one of the greatest, most challenging, dramatic, tragic, inspiring dramas playing out around the world. And it's playing out right in front of us. I mean, there are winners, there are losers, there are heroes, there are victims. This is one of the biggest stories of our civilization, and that's the water story. And that intersects everything we care about. So that's what drives me. I, I grew up on the Great Lakes, and I can see Lake Michigan from my house. And so water runs through every bit of my life, and it runs through every bit of my daughter's life. And so that's really what what drives me as a journalist is to find these connections and to really help make this huge story relevant to every one of us. Yeah. So, so you got you got a really interesting piece about water and energy going at the moment. Tell us just briefly about it. Yeah, some of the big stories of water are, are right in front of us and yet they're siloed, they're separated. And one of those stories is the intersection between water and energy. And very briefly, we have in many cases a collision that's about to happen between water and energy. It takes a huge amount of water to make energy, a huge amount of, amount of water to cool our, our thermoelectric plants, a huge amount of water to extract the energy. And at the same time, it takes a lot of energy to move and treat water. And in the United States, in China, and other parts of the world, we're seeing this intersection coming to an absolutely critical moment here, where there may not be enough water at current practices to extract the energy that we're projected to need. So that's a big story. That's just a, one example of the types of complex stories that, that are unfolding. Okay. That's really... I, I, I started reading that, and uh, it's fascinating, actually, and, and uh, well, really worrisome as well. So, so where, where could we find this stuff? You find all of our reporting on circleofblue.org, yeah. and we cover the issues every day. We do large-scale stories about once a month or so, and then we do long-term series. We try to take a step back, look at the connections, make the connections, and then make them personal. Okay, and you're naming it? I'm J. Carl Ganter, and I run Circle of Blue.